YouTube, we're back again today for more of our Origins Bonanza Explosion Blowout Coverage. We're live at Origins 2018. Thanks in part to all of our amazing uh, Kickstarter backers from last year and Tasty Minstrel Games. Right now, I'm very excited to be talking about a game from Brain Games. It's a spin-off of the Ice Cool franchise. They're using the same characters from that. Called Ice Cool Pyramid of Penguin. It's for two to five players, ages eight plus, and it's a really interesting looking game. So essentially, you're gonna have this big board right in front, uh, right in the middle of the board, and you're gonna have two sides. And on one side, you're gonna have this evil penguin queen that's risen from the temples of something or other. And on the other side, you're gonna have the other people who are trying to make their way around this map of the pyramid, trying to collect, uh, I don't know if it, uh, it varies with the player count, but trying to collect various different, uh, complete different objectives on cards while moving around this board. Whereas the, the penguin, the, the bad penguin, is trying to catch them by running through them and they can do that a certain number of times, they steal their lights, which means they've won the game. So, start off, very cool concept, it's one versus all, but the all are still competing against each other. So everybody's on their own separate team except one person is doing something absolutely 100% different, which I really did like. It was simple enough that I feel like I could teach it to young kids, say seven, eight years old, no problem. I think I could probably even teach it to my five-year-old, and uh, I want to get a copy and teach it to him, because I'm going to tell you, I really like the game. But it was very simple, very family-friendly. We played it with a group of adults, though, and we all liked it a lot as well. Uh, so, one thing I liked about this game that some people might not like, though, is there's player elimination. There is the potential for player elimination, where if the bad guy steals all your lights, then you are out of the game, which some people might not like, but how it works is on your turn, you're gonna roll what starts off as five dice if you're one of the good guys. And then they're going to have numbers and lines on it. And the numbers, if you pick one number, it is how many spaces you get to move on the map. If you get a straight line, that means you can go in any direction, but you go all the way until you stop at the side of the thing. The last one is there's these mummies. And if you roll a mummy dice, then you have to give the mummy one of the five dice that you as the good guys are using. You move your spaces, and then the next person goes, but they only have four dice. And uh, and how it works is everybody takes their turn and then it gets to the, the regular mummy. And the mummy gets the one dice that the other people had as just one plain movement, and they also get to roll their own black dice and get one to three movement. And they move around trying to catch the other people. It worked out really stinking well, uh, and you do get your dice back if you reset, but by resetting you let the mummy immediately move one space. Overall, I really like this game. Really stinking cool. Uh, it would be fun, I think, at all the different player counts. We played it as a four player game and we really enjoyed it. I think, you know what, I think I'd like it at two players, but I think the higher you go, I think it's gonna be a little bit more fun because there's just more people running around the maze and there's more like, oh, ooh, it's so close. Um, really excited about this one. I think this one's gonna be a big family weight hit. Looks really cool. It's got great artwork based off of Ice Cool. Uh, so that is Ice Cool Pyramid of Penguin from Brain Games, one that I definitely recommend. I want to add this one to my collection. And if you have uh, you have kids or you're looking for a lighter weight game, this one might be you want to check out as well. If you enjoyed this Origins coverage, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below in the comments below. Let me know. If you go to a vending machine, what is the most typical thing that you get out of the vending machine? Very right, personally, Nutty Buddies. Or nut or bu Nutty Buddies. Those, those, those really terrible, terrible ones for you. That chocolate peanut butter. What about you, Brandon? Is that vending machines? Vending machines. I don't use them. Whoa, all right, elitist. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below what would you get out of a vending machine. As always, thanks for your time, YouTube. I feel like a weird guy behind the camera right now. Hi, YouTube. You're I the was, best. You don't have to do that, man. That's awesome, though. <laughs>